Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series. Oh look! I don't know what that black square was, maybe it was just showing his, his uh, progress on what he was cooking. But uh, I think there might be an update. I think we looked at this one. So fix is there. Made the map key toggle the map open and close. Ooh. So the rework of texture system should now be complete. This should reduce memory and load times with the textures being substantially clipped for the blank space. Texture reduction should fix out the memory errors experienced and a preventative fix for a crash. Okay, cool. Oh, whisk and spoon do please the moon. All right. So while he does that, I'll get other oh no. chores and, and the like done. Okay, where are we on the calendar? We're still in the first week. We have a birthday we should probably handle. I believe there's something we need to grow in the second week of autumn and I'm trying really really hard to remember because we need it for uh marsh tit. So the farming what are they called? The people who are like really good at it. Master. So I think we need to get him something that needs to be grown at a specific time. I'm trying really hard to remember. <laughs> How how is our pear to apple? Maybe we should put apples here for now. <laughs> we have so many apples. All right. I'm really excited to go um, work in the apothecary. I did not feel well last time I recorded an episode, so I didn't get to really enjoy uh, working in the apothecary. So hopefully today will be better. Ooh, this looks different. I think it's it's blue now. I wonder what it was before. It looks nice though. Um, I love the movement of it. But what I actually want is the calendar. Copper kettle. So we need to go to, I believe, next to Ken. I think it's Kendall Witch West. Is that what it's called? Haha, it is. So that's where we're heading. Are you the teapots? Yes. So across the street is a kettle? Yes. Whose birthday though? Copper. Okay. Hey there. We're friendly. That's good. You have a gift for you. Milk. How much do I want to go out of my way to go get that milk? Because <laughs> I could teleport home real quick and then fast travel back, but I don't know that I'm that dedicated. <laughs> so candied squirrel. It was acceptable. Gossip. They apparently had a hair problem. All right, we have read this one before. Remember my birthday, thank you. Yay. It wasn't uh, the best birthday, but you know, we're not all that close. So it makes sense that I wouldn't really have the stuff on hand for him. So uh, let's look at the map. Oh, right above us. Now I'm going to go run our shop. I guess we'll use this, yeah. 200 apples. Good lord. Everything looking alright in here? Yep. Good. Let that do its thing. Alright. Uh, you know what? I want to make... First, I want to see... I've made something that went in here. I just don't remember what. Burnout. I was thinking of doing like the bone one and the burn one because that's easy to have on hand now the question is is where the i think those were creams so bono okay let's do that mm, i don't know that we have the ingredients to do a full one ah, oh well let's go with it all in one go. And there we go. So this is apparently what it's supposed to make because it is only a partial cure. Discarded. Dang it. Alright, not that one. <laughs> I will do another one of the burn ones though. And then try to remember we have it in stock. Uh, do a guess. Yeah. 
on one go? Yes. Where in the world is this crunchy bed? Haha. Uh -huh. Yay! Charizard. Partially cures burn. Dang it! <laughs> Fine. We won't make any ahead of time. <laughs> But now we know we have one uh, spring whiff and one burnout. This goes from like zero to a hundred. As soon as the first person shows up, it's just chaos until the door shuts. But the wait is long to begin with. I do wonder if it's a bit of a problem that we have two shops running. So like some of our customers that would come here are over at the other shop. Not sure. Hello. How can we help? I get scared at night. I need help sleeping. Okay, I'll make something for that. Puts you in a coma, full stop. That might be it though. Cures night terrors. Because that's scared at night. Yeah, bravery. So to counter the scared. And then narcolepsy to cure the not sleeping. Okay, let's try that. Hopefully it's what she needs. Well, we'll go those two. Alright. And then get the crunchy bits. Oh, that one went quick. Conk out. Partially cares night terrors. So it seems like if it's a partial, it'll go to the person, but um if it's it won't go on the sh on onto the stock in the back that gets tossed i seem to be spewing blood i need to be stronger to fight monsters okay um so it since it has two i think there's a bit of a correlation so since they have two symptoms they're gonna have there's gonna be two ingredients if they have three it's gonna be something with three not sure but it's my guess uh, those two yeah, let's swap it out for a nice one because we have more of those uh, okay get that going quickly we have people waiting Swap that over here. Alright, stir quickly. <laughs> okay. A couple more stirs. Can you put it? No. Choice cuts. Partially cures wound. So it'll help a little bit. This guy uh, has some problems. He seems to be gushing blood and has stars around his head. I don't feel good. I wonder why. I feel nauseous. A monster slashed my head. I'm scared of monsters after that attack. Reasonably. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Monster gash. Anti-sickness, healing, and bravery. That's the one. Filter. Okay. Well, we know catnip does bravery. Got that taken care of. Anti-sickness. I can actually make this one, but god, I need to get more whistle root. Alright. Alright, let this go. Okay, got that. Get this guy going. I'm wondering if it should be thicker because it's supposed to be a cream. Who knows? Gore blinding cures, monster, gash. A new apothecary recipe has been discovered. Uh, well, that's the ticket. Ah, he has no more stars or anything, which is good. I need something to woo someone. Can't get a rise in the morns or the eaves. We'll see what we can do to help you with that. I can't seem figure out what would work best obviously we want charm wait maybe maybe this cures charmless 
Yeah, I think this I think this might be it. Okay, we've got some charm weed. Uh oh, nettle. Oh, I think we'll be able to make it. Ooh, and it's a potion, my favorite. Alright, get this guy in here. Oh, my jar is gone. Well, at least we still know where the jar is. <laughs> okay, so we need the opposite of green. Which we need to give this a oh no. Uh is that red? Oh no, there's red. Okay, so there? Over one? Found it. Oh no, maybe I didn't. Now we need some orange. Okay, so one, two. Okay, I think that's orange. Okay, so now we need to go back to getting red. Okay, so we're at orange, purple. Oh, no. Too much red. Now we need to find green. So I think one more. Nope, one more. Okay, I've done it. This is a chore. Sorry everybody who's waiting. I'll have to cancel, like shut the sh shop after this. Okay, we're, we're still on green. We're business. Oh, who knows what temperature it needed. Worm? Okay. All right, Cures Charmless. New apothecary recipe found. Okay, so, God, I wonder, we should probably just shut the shop. All right, guys. Shop is closed. So let's just make something with some, some fun flour. Okay, yeah, it's still a problem. Oop. Let's see if we can make anything from it though. Purple. Seems to be right there, maybe. Oh, I think it's too hot. That's the first time we've had it be too hot. Do we think we're on purple? Hard to freaking tell, isn't it? One, two, three. Ah, it did. I made something. Nothing. I made nothing. <laughs> okay, well, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I wonder if uh, restarting would help that. It did not seem to be a problem, by the way, having the other shop running. We had so many people come in. I'm going down to get a, a little sap. Then we'll sleep, and then I'm on top of the little sap. I'll restart and see if that helps with the apothecary. Otherwise I'll uh, pop into the discord and let them know. <laughs> the potions don't work right now. <laughs> Does anyone know if the uh, beanstalk is supposed to work? Because I still don't think mine has done anything. And I mean it's fine if it's just not in the game yet but I just would be sad that it was bugged this whole time and I just didn't know it. <laughs> yep. Still hasn't grown. I don't know if there's something I need to do uh, or anything like that. So if anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> All right, let's get some sleep. Uh, time to cook some food. Thank you. I'm going to restart. All right, time to cook. Good. Uh, and then once he's done cooking, I'll send him uh, to uh, go forage for us. Ooh, all the crops look like maybe they're done. Nothing to cook. I'm, uh, I mean, I guess I can give you a carrot real quick. There you go. Do you have any gossip? Uh, a birthday. Thank you. Um, I need into the cupboard though. Can I please get in there? Can, I wish you could push them. Aha! You just gotta face the corner and you're good. So we'll take these, give them all the apples, not that many. There we go. I wonder if we gave him gooseberry if he'd cook with it. 
Put those in there. Ooh, he, he made blueberries. Oh, can he make gummy mushroom pies as well? We'll see. We'll see what he can do. Thanks for help. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's right. Every time I collect something with stars, little trees are appearing. But you know, it's fun, but probably not intended. Okay. Got the garden planted. Ugh, fine, I'll water. <laughs> not them. Ooh, get a poppy. Let's see, does it go into the rock? Oh, I didn't even use my sickle. Maybe that's the best plan though. <laughs> so I don't keep putting them in the rock and not being able to reach them. Uh, I'll check that in a second. We gotta check in here. Ooh, all right. Good thing we got a little sap. Let's get some blueberry jam on here. Alphabetical order, which took me an embarrassing long time to realize it was in. There we go. Uh, I don't know what to put here. Maybe this. Let's go five, as per usual. Check this. Reputation didn't go well yesterday. <laughs> oh well. Some days it goes well, some days it doesn't. How's it going? Appreciate the work at the shop that you do. Got another birthday. Oh, are there any birthdays? Ginger nut. Dang it. Uh, I'll try to remember to do that. Check this again. Try a little bit of time. Oh yeah, I can already tell this isn't gonna work. All right. Found the red, I think. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's too cold. Yeah, it was. Uh, craft field. That's fine. Just checking. So probably don't want to run that today. In case we have more potions that we need to make. So I may head over, or just like run around, see what I can collect. Make sure to go see Ginger Nut. Ooh, there's two notes, three notes. No, two, two notes in here. Poppy sleeps when flakes so fair drift dreamily down from Aurora's hair. So no winter, Poppy? Parsley heals nice and neat, cures from head to sore old feet. <laughs> Parsley heals, thank you. Uh, the bumper book of divorce. Fed up with a nagging spouse, bed life wilted <laughs> like a sunflower in a drought, crops failing. What you need is a nice divorce. There are two ways to go about this, via the high priest in Loverwood, or via the annual offering of your local village woodfellow. Oh no. Some say that the latter is a barbaric way of getting rid yourself of an unwanted partner, but in Quailin society, a sacrifice of such magnitude is no such thing. Every Quailin knows that if they were ever offered up to our goddesses, then it would be a tremendous honor and a painless euphoric transference when the Fae take the, their shell and you, they are reborn anew. Divorce via the High Priest is a method that is available any day, all year round. There is a brass cost associated with this method, but it is much handier. Just pop in to your local priest and ask about it. Your spouse will have no qualms with leaving immediately once the divorce is ratified, as every Everybody in Quill understands this is the way. You are then free to sow the seed of another marriage and get those crops growing again. Oh, huh. alright then. This is in a little cave here in Loverwood. What is that? <laughs> Continue to forget. I think maybe once I found out. It's probably some kind of truffle, but I don't remember what it is. Do you have any gossip? It's a birthday. I wonder if we should go get a fair weather item or not. There's a bunch of new ones. I'm super curious what the reminder thing is for. So we need to go to the burial grounds. Is that where Ginger Nut is? Because uh, I know there's this house. It's basically is Ginger Nut the mom or the the daughter? You are Ginger Nut. Haha. <laughs> Gift moonfish. I can do that. Here. I have a two-star moonfish. 
We have gossip. It's birthday. Brought a shop. Was it not your birthday? Ah, no it was. Okay, good. Can I give you if if we go like this? Greetings, how are you? Then gift her this. What secrets do we got? I heard Toby Jug really doesn't like rainbow mushrooms. Thank you very much. That's the kind of information I need. So I'm going to travel home. So I shall probably head to bed. Where is... Where, where's Jed? Have you guys seen him? Huh, he must be on a walk or something. Alright, let's head to bed. Oh! I think I found Jed. He seems to be sleeping under the bed. Alright, you know. You know, you do you. I'll sleep over here then. <laughs> Time to cook some food. Thank you, sir. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I did want to run the apothecary a bit more, but it's kind of hard when a third of it just doesn't exist. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.